டுடே வேர் இஸ் சமந்த பஞ்சகா கேன் யூ ஃபைண்ட் அவுட் சமந்த பஞ்சகா இன் குருக்ஷேத்ரா தெர் ஆர் நோ ஃபைவ் பாண்ட்ஸ் ஃபைவ் தௌசண்ட் இயர்ஸ் ஆஃப் கான் பட் த பாண்ட்ஸ் ஆர் கான் வெர் இஸ் பிட்வீன் ராமா அண்ட் கிருஷ்ணா த பாண்ட்ஸ் வர் தேர் சப்போஸ் தே வர் வெரி மச் சார்ட் ஆஃப் செப்பரேட்டட் பை டைம் a huge time could they have survived uh, simhala and lanka are two separate dwipas uh, they are the uh, two of the eight uh, upadwipas of jambudwipa and it is mentioned in uh, uh, like uh, bhagavata purana and then devi bhagavata purana the 100 yojana the distance from uh, of building the bridge as well as actually in ramayana also there is a width of the bridge is also given it is like uh, 10 yojanas wide and 100 yojanas long. Namaste ma'am. Yeah, namaste. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Satyam Ajay Day once again. And uh, first we will go with uh, Vidya Ji's in- introduction. And once that is done, we will proceed with the uh, presentation. Okay. Namaste everyone. A very warm welcome to you all. It's once again my privilege today to introduce our speaker for today, who is no stranger to the platform of Satyam Ajay Day. Dr. Jai Shri Saranathan. Ma'am, it's an honor to have you with us once again here. Dr. Jai Shri, who is a native of Chennai, Tamil Nadu, wears many hats. She is a researcher, a speaker, an author of several books and a writer in mainstream print magazines, both in Tamil and English, right since 1990. A PhD holder in astrology, Dr. Jai Shri Ji went on to do specialization in dating of past historic events, such as the Mahabharata and the Ramayana, as well as the life history of famous indian personalities such as shri ramanujacharya and shri adi shankaracharya yashri ji a person of diverse knowledge with academic studies in economics history and business administration has also done a certificate course in epigraphy her deep interest in indology hindu epics tamil sangam literature prehistory astro meteorology etc led her to ably connect the missing dots in ancient texts she has done its correct interpretation as well as carried out extensive research and also written several articles in depth on the same <clears throat> dr jayashree has authored over 10 to 12 books the following are the titles of some of her books oral cancer astrological prediction and remedies mahabharata 3136 bce validation of the traditional date ramanuja itihasa decoding the identity of primikanta chola and the muslim invader of at melukote when was the first vedic homa done who killed aditya karikala the historical facts date of adi shankara 148 bce etc her latest book is about establishing the date of ramayana it establishes 5114 bce as the birth year of shri rama and other <coughs> events by corroborating all planetary and panchanga features given by maharishi valmiki as per the indic calendar system of year names months tithis and stars which are all done by using astrology software titled ramayana 5114 bce this book resolves long standing issues around the ramayana such as the yuga when it happened the mismatch between the birth tithi and the birth star of shri rama the absence of change in seasons and months now as they were in rama's time the truth about the vanara species the human tongue spoken by shri hanuman ji and sita ma in the ashoka vana location of ravana's lanka and the rama setu as well as historical evidences from tamil sources this 200 page book is a shorter version of the main book which will be published soon it has shown that the meteor hit just before the war with khara and this is corroborated by the gif for the exact year 5078 ce jayashree has also mentioned about the meteor cavities which were identified to the keshwar temple in nashik dr jayashree is in constant touch with geologists to initiate steps for dating of these cavities the longer version of dr jayashree ji's book will be having three parts the first one will be dealing with issues such as 11000 year rule of rama rajya vatapi lore ahalya turning into store into stone vali vadha agni pravesha etc part 2 will contain the decipherment part 3 will be all about trivia such as weapons used the presence of iron in ramayana the flora and fauna of the forests the climate the beauty products used by them the jewelry of sitama the path taken by ravana during abduction of sitama 
path taken by the vanaras to lanka and the path taken by shri rama while going for war and many many more such info yeah i have noted a few questions on my own and uh, i'm sure videsh also would have enough madam you were talking about the the pandya kavadam uh, mm-hmm. and you are talking about the mahendra giri also uh, so i have i have a two part question uh, one is the mahendra giri which is not there anymore which you have lost in the sea you have mentioned i would like to know a bit more about it what is the time period that was lost and uh, all that and the other question the second part of the question that i have is in ramayana there is a mention that they were on top of the mahendagiri they were able to see the agastya and they were mentioning you know the sugriva was telling them when you mount climb the mahendagiri you will be able to see agastya which is bright like mm-hmm. a, a sun at night and all that so uh, i have read that uh, agastya is canopus and canopus was uh, from 12000 bc to 6400 bc somewhere around that which was the south pole uh so how does it actually fit into uh, the time okay. frame is the the second part of the question so mahendra giri and canopus okay. thank you madam yeah Mah- mahendra giri actually that area if you check uh, with the bathymetry bathymetry is the depth ocean depth it is more than 1 km below there is subduction taking place uh, the last time that area came under water was 3500 years ago and uh, there is a uh, sea level map showing that and also literary evidence is showing that uh, that around 3500 years kavata was lost and then only they came to madurai the present day madurai the pandians have come to the present day madurai and uh, that entire area of the manna region where i showed some uh, locations uh, in periplus map also you know they all have come down why just imagine danishkoti danishkoti was a, a land mass in those times so if there is a tsunami or even if there is a, a storm or something he can only remove the standing structures on the land the land cannot go down a land has to go down means that area should be prone to sub subduction the entire area in that uh, region that is this ocean floor is kind of volcanically active area even the very ramsetu the underlying part is made by a fissure that is that ocean floor uh, uh, this magma is just coming out and then making that uh, area so the volcanically active but today it may not be active time at time it is active so this area is prone to subduction that is how the mahendragiri had gone even kavatam had gone under water the proof of it i am showing from the periplus map it happened 3500 years ago as per sea level map and also as per literary sources that is one thing then about agastya sugriva talks about agastya in two places in the same sarga of the root the first place is in malaya mountain Mal- that is after uh, coming uh, across from the north india malaya mountain is the brahmagiri hills where he says agastya sage agastya will be there doing tapas on top of the Mal- Mal- malaya hill in a receptacle of water and it, it was a, that is a Mal- that is kaveri was a receptacle then it was not it was a kund kaveri kund even today if you go and see kaveri is just a huge kund when it is overflowing only the water comes out as a river when the, at that time kaveri was not born there are several sources from even from manimegalai we say that kaveri was not born he only made it uh, come out that is nadandai vaari kaveri then kaveri started a big slowly coming down that time. and there is another story or so he had put kaveri inside a kamandal and then the crow had uh, just I mean, to throw it down, so the Kaveri water started coming out. So that means until then, Kaveri was not a river. It was a receptacle. At the time of the 14th year of the Vanavasa, it was a receptacle. There is a further evidence in Uttarakhanda where Rama, Rama, Rama comes to uh, uh, I mean, uh, I mean, attack Shambhuga, to do the Shambhuga Vada. That was closer to Agastya's place only. at that time it is mentioned in uh, uttarakhanda uh, the people who came along with him told that agastya sage agastya had just completed his tapas for 12 years standing on water so we will all go and meet him now and then rama and others went and met agastya agastya said what you did for shambhu gavada is very correct very good he told that and uh, ravana i mean rama praised him as kumbayoni that's the first time the word for the birth of uh, agastya from kumba kumbayoni he says you are the kumbayoni 
so he did the penance and after that he went to kabatam because there there is another cross reference from bogus there it says he was standing on water for 12 years he did tapas to learn tamil grammar he got the blessings of lord muruga and then he got the knowledge of tamil and then he went to kabatam so that avasya was the true rishi who was on top of brahmagiri hills which i showed then the next one mention of avasya and people the second question that you are telling you know, the people about south pole and all that or and then even uh, rupa bati madam also has talked about it and then there is another one who is saying that agastya visibility they are all talking about this agastya this is a person not a place this is a person whereas down there further he goes explaining pul pushpa giri or something many places down there then he says there is a agastya bhavanam on top of a hill from there all the time it is being there that means that is makana kanopus it is there on top of all the time means it is a circumpolar from the top of that all which that is just above that you can see on top of that you can see means it is a circumpolar star why it is a circumpolar even now today is a circumpolar star it can never become a southern star according to our puranas now because our puranas and our siddhanta say our precision is just like this a kind of to and fro motion only in the western concept of complete uh, precision that we become a, a south pole whereas according to our indic thought that alone will be established any time now even going by the current uh, uh, natural calamities we can say uh, it, it is not uh, that is only this much of the to go so the sudden it will never become a sudden star and uh, uh, valmiki or sugriva doesn't say it is a sudden star he says you will always see it on top of the mountain so that location is some 38 degree south or somewhere today i don't know whether any mountain because we have to go or personally check on there are areas there some areas are there but whether any mountain or anything is there i don't know that but some, since it is a circumpolar so he says you know see another one also people used to say this revati is always on the equator even today it is on the equator if you are living on the equator you will see revati all the time overhead it is a overhead star so like that it is a overhead star there if it is a overhead star there that means it is a circumpolar star so the current theory you now is that it will be this in there and it is all not true and two places it is being told and the first one is rishi nagasya the second one is canopus that's my answer the the other see i am i was since actually this talk was there i went into a bit of research and actually i tried to see actually what people are talking about the confusion that is created around the location of lanka and all i went into a bit of research and uh, some of the uh, one of the arguments that i have heard is uh, simhala and lanka are two separate dwipas uh, they are the uh, two of the eight uh, upadwipas of jambudwipa and it is mentioned in uh, uh like uh, bhagavata purana and then devi bhagavata purana and other places actually it is mentioned as two separate uh, deepas even in mahabharata sahadeva goes all the way to lanka and all that there is a mention like that simhala will not be mentioned in mahabharata yeah mahabharata oh, simhala probably simhala lanka mentioned. was mentioned not simhala lanka was mentioned sahadeva going to lanka uh, so the the question is actually you no know, these upadwipas and mentioning simhala and lanka as separate uh, i i like to know actually you know, whether this was how it was possible so when you have to search what uh, dwipa means sans- in sanskrit dwipa doesn't mean just island it also means a land or continent or place so when we say see indra dwipa i said it is see i told that burma thailand and vietnam they are not islands just land mass so dwipa means uh, it even jambu dwipa our country is known as jambu dwipa ours is not an island is it an island no so dwipa means a land mass or a continent and as i said that northern part of lanka was known as singhala the southern part that is sirisha vastu was uh, singhala and then the southern part was lanka i when i talked i told i i mentioned about brahm samhita also varahamihiras brahm samhita lanka and singhala both appear so the northern part of lanka was singhala 
but that name came into existence only after vijaya simha entered uh, uh, the sri lankan that land mass so whatever devi bhagavatam or other puranas that you are quoting that information must have been inserted only after 5th bc 5th century bc not before that so the simhala is northern part lanka is southern part and dwipa means a land mass and so so there is no confusion about it you don't have to think that it has a different island or different one and uh, today there is a tendency to consider the entire uh, lanka singhala not so the mahavamsa clearly states only that northern part where vijayasimha landed that was singhala and uh, taking name from him only people call themselves as simhalis not there is another opinion also that singhala coming from bengali and all that but uh, mahavamsa is more uh, reliable because that is a native text of sri lanka that is in existence for more than 2000 years so that is more reliable absolutely and you, madam was mentioning about the other dwipas which was there you even shown the map also the location of the other dwipas the other six upadwipas that i have mentioned are some of them are part of it which which dwipa which upadwipa uh, uh, i was talking about yes, the what is exact thing dwipa what is the dwipa and upadwipa which is mentioned as upadwipa uh, the uh, jambudwipa as the main dwipa and the other eight simhala lanka okay. and other that six is, uh, six more as mentioned no, no, i was see, wondering if it was no, the ones that you mentioned yeah i don't think in i i think i don't want to comment on it why because different texts give contradictory versions when contradictory versions are there let me not go into that as long as it is not coming part of my research whatever research that i have taken suppose it is part, for example kumari kanda they use a various kumari kanda there is definitely a reference to kumari kanda in baskaras siddhanta shurumai and then there is reference to kumari kanda in trivulayadal purana that he muruga crossed to kumari kanda then he came here but today people are showing some other land when i searched for it it was near uh, the tropic of uh, capricorn the location is given as given by um, uh, this brahats or there is uh, siddhanta shurumai or uh, other text it is there so when i take up uh, something connected with kumari kandam only i will take up take up that at least kumari kandam not much mentioned in many text but the other ones that you are talking and then sharmali dwipa this dwipa there and then the yeah, extent of that in ramayana also there is some mention of it so i go with only ramayana description but i don't take up the uh, verses from the other ones because all the all those are contradictory probably in the period of ramayana they stuck with only that kind of division in different periods they talk differently today we talk india or bharat through jambi dwipa so like that in ramayana period what actually i'll be talking i will i'm giving one chapter on uh, the route to the on uh, the eastern route on the western route and the eastern route you come across these dwipa names by given by uh, uh, sugriva but i will stick to what he said that that portion of not from uh, devi bhagavata says bhagavata purana says because that are contradictory and then my con- my contention so my derivation what i understand from that is they might have been written in some other time when the names would have been different not so like we say we had a greater india greater part greater india now uh, we have uh, got we got uh, I mean, separated into pakistan bangladesh and then afghanistan so in our time it is like that it was some 100 years ago it was not so so to by uh, taking into consideration what was given 100 years ago you can't be just saying no 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 these four divisions are not there same way for these uh, text also what is given in uh, ramayana i'll stick to that other ones i am not going to talk they are totally contradictory absolutely and most likely the 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 islands actually appear and disappear also over a period of time in thousand years yeah. many so, islands appear they mentioned uh, yeah that is there and then they mentioned the dwipas mainly in the meaning of uh, uh, that is land mass please check the sanskrit dictionary dwipa doesn't mean island alone a prominent example is jambu dwipa our country not an island so it's not an island. that is not the way that we have to interpret the text they didn't mean to be islands but i can see people you know drawing islands and then even they used to ask me ma'am please comment on am i right 
no comments at all because it does it is not so what they have to it could have been something else Excellent. understandably understandably i am asking the ones i am seeing actually you know, alternate theories and everything okay. so that it makes it clear okay. uh, with the... not be not able to hear no, not able to hear still some issue can you hear me now yes 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 yeah, now now okay. yes oh, okay okay thank god okay <laughs> actually ma'am i just wanted to ask you the we you mentioned about the pampa river hmm. the pampa river so we have a pampa river which is situated in kerala is there any connection yeah it's it's a pampa lake it is mentioned as pampa lake suppose i mentioned as pampa river i'm sorry it is pampa lake near pampa it's a pampa that i also said, mentioned there is a kind of backwaters of a, i checked all these uh, locations there is a backwaters of kalindi nadi surrounded by uh, mountains so the backwaters of that region was known as a lake in those days since it was not uh, just running like, like a river of course pampa river is there down there but shabari was near pampa lake not pampa river that pampa lake was near belagavi which is on the border of maharashtra and karnataka that uh, that is in the district of belga towards the that is closer to western ghats that is pampa lake thank you okay thank you ma'am all right madam another the more popular uh, doubts that people used to raise is the uh, the yojanas the 100 yojana the distance from Uh, of building the bridge as well as actually in ramayana also there is a width of the bridge is also given it is like uh, 10 yojanas wide and 100 yojanas long okay. Okay. so the measurement i understand actually there could be yojanas could be different different time periods and all that uh, i would like to see actually what you think about yeah there is one chapter on yojanas alone in my upcoming book this is the shorter version i already published and circulated among scholars now in the larger version more issues are going to be there that is why i, I didn't make it public there is one chapter on yojana sabu in ramayana itself in several places yojanas the word yojana comes simple example i'll give you kabanda kabanda was a demon kabanda means tra- headless trunk actually because of a lightning it is mentioned in mahabharata i mean ramayana itself because of uh, a lightning strike on his shoulder and uh, his neck and face his face just got uh, twisted that it started appearing here in the stomach and then he started he, i he, his tooth also became so huge and his hands became one yojana length suppose you say one yojana is equal to 8 miles does it mean that he had 8 miles length of uh, hand tell me this is just one example and also today you will be knowing lot of controversies uh, about the numbers yesterday i saw this uh, Ra- chakravarti raja ji the chakravarti tirumagan bai raja ji there he clearly tells see in ramayana you come across huge numbers or sahasra koti even in uh, you take for example uh, this uh, uh, purusha sukta sahasra sirisha purusha ha sahasraksha sahasra shirash that is uh, that is th- uh, uh, 1000 head 1000 head means you should have 2000 aksha ice but it says 1000 ice how if you are going to <laughs> take it in the literal sense then it you will say ah it is rubbish foreigners say that and now the indians are going to are talking in such a way that they themselves are denouncing our texts what is meant there is huge the exaggerated number and i told about uh, this uh, 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 what shall i say um chakravarti tirumagan chakravarti tirumagan by uh, uh raja ji there he addresses this there i am reading it out 34 30000 years sagara lived and, and then 60000 years uh, dasharada lived but ramayanathil 34000 60000 engira periya nan engalai padithu நாம் திகைக்க வேண்டியதில்லை முப்பது வருஷ சகசிரம் என்றால் அநேக வருஷங்கள் மெனி இயர்ஸ் என்றாவது அல்லது முப்பது வருஷமாவது எடுத்துக்கொள்ளலாம் சஹசிரம் என்பதை வருஷம் என்பதற்கு மக்கள் அடைமொழியாக வைத்துக் கொள்ளலாம் சஹசிரீரிஷா 
சஹஸ்ர வருஷம் ஸோ லைக் தட் ஸோ சஷ்டி சஹஸ்ர மக்கள் என்றால் அறுபது மக்களாகவும் எடுத்துக்கொள்ளலாம் திஸ் இஸ் டோல்டு பை ராஜாஜி திஸ் இஸ் ஹவு பீப்புள் யூஸ் டு சே ஸோ பீப்புள் டிட் நாட் டேக் தி வேர்ட்ஸ் இன் த லிட்ரல் சென்ஸ் பிகாஸ் ஈவன் ஃபார் ஹண்ட்ரட் யோஜனா தட் யூ ஹாவ் ரேஸ்ட் சம்பாதி வில் சே ஃப்ரம் வேர் ஹி இஸ் டாக்கிங் லங்கா இஸ் ஹண்ட்ரட் யோஜனா ரைட் அண்ட் தென் when hanuman started jumping from mahendragiri the 100 yojana samudra raja will tell mainaka after 100 yojanas let give him some rest so he gave him some rest then after 100 yojanas he should have reached the landmass you know then how is it possible so these professions have several are there so all of them i am bringing out but i am not just saying that with that alone i am not closing it i am giving you the formula for it in tamil there is a formula for not only that formula in tirumandiram by tirumula he says koopidum aatrile venkaadu irukaadam that means koopidum or koopidu dooram there is one word in tamil that means calling distance somebody is shouting hey come on how long that sound will go that is known as koopidu dooram that is equal to irandu kaadam two years what you hear by 2 years that is kadam so 2 year kadam is equal to 1 kupid dooram that is equal to 1 yojana this is given in tamil dictionary so based on that 1 yojana is equal to 1 calling distance the calling distance is the uh, the the sound how the sound how far it goes in a in a second it goes for 300 minutes i have taken that so here another thing the ratio of that the ratio is today 30 km long 3 km breadth that is 30, 10 is to 1 we can say so 10 is to 1 that is in that way only you have to have it so that means 3, 300 means 3000 that is 3 km and then this way i i have, I have just uh, made it so that is since we rigid derived one yojana is equal to 300 meters so it is equal to one kupid is equal to two kadam so this is ideal in places of construction of linear passages such as roads and bridges because communication can travel from back to front and front to back that is why they have used the kupid dooram distance there so based on the kupid dooram distance that, that is for first today 4.2 km like that at 30 km you can just to find out that is 10 is to 1 that is we have found though 100 yojanas are mentioned in different context only this part of the construction of ram setu is seem to be aligned to specific measurements for kabanda one yojana it is just a long distance even kishkinda is one yojana from where sugriva that is from vishyamka parvata so that's just it. and so rama was able to see from his mount the festivities happening in kishkinda after sugriva was coronated so that means very a nearer distance if it is 8 miles or so definitely he could not have seen that so it could have been some shorter distance so in many places that yojana is used to say some higher number whereas in ram setu the formula is given as 1 kupid dooram is equal to 1 yojana which is equal to 300 meters that i have established and also given the uh, i mean uh, split up details and the the source for this is tirumolas tirumandram he has clearly get given kupidam matile venkadu irukada means in golden days this kind of uh, this uh, distant measurement was used by them so this hundred yojana is just 3 km 30 km so understood so i i will ask about the trayadaka also if you can actually mention uh, definitely because definitely. that is Yeah. yeah that is also be said in many ways yes yes rama was born in treta yuga only that is what we are saying but in the text in three different ways it is being mentioned in rama's time they did not use treta yuga calculation because in ramayana itself there is a verse by hanuman telling to sita that rama was well versed in yajur veda and all the vedangas Jyotisha is a Vedanga, one of the six Vedangas, which is called Vedanga Jyotisha. Vedanga Jyotisha talks about time. It talks about 
ஃபைவ் இயர் யுகா ஒன்லி ஃபைவ் இயர் யுகா ஸ்டார்ட்ஸ் அட் உத்தராயணா ஸோ ஃப்ரம் தேட் யூனோ ஃபார் ஈச் இயர் த நேம்ஸ் ஆர் தேர் ஃபார் ஃபர்ஸ்ட் இயர் இட் இஸ் சம் வட்சரா செகண்ட் இயர் பரிவட்சரா அண்ட் தென் இட் வட் வட்சரா அனுவட்சரா வட்சரா ஆர் இட் வட்சரா ஸோ இந்த ஃபர்ஸ்ட் இயர் சப்போஸ் தே ஆர் டூயிங் தி சங்கல்பா தேவ் சி சம் வட்சரே த செகண்ட் இயர் பரிவட்சரே நார்த் ரேதா யுகே people are mistaken since this word vedanga is known to rama we and three, till 3500 years ago vedanga jyotisha was in use by the vedic society why i say that there is one lagada jyotisha we have rigvedanga jyotisha as well as yajur vedanga jyotisha available with us fortunately in that written by lagada he clearly mentions when utrayana started in his time in his time it started in danishta today it starts in moola so from moola 6 degrees to danishta there is a kind of difference of nearly 24 plus 24 48 degrees difference so we are 48 degrees we have just gone ahead in time so at the rate of 72 years per degree if you are calculating from now to that time that lagada jyotisha was written there is a gap of approximately 3500 years so until 3500 years ago in other words until 1500 bce our vedic society was using only the five year yoga for all vedic purposes then what for this kali yuga calculation that is for civil purposes in fact when you go through mahabharata you will know even we say the kali yuga started at the time of krishna's exit when krishna existed people did not know people because for seven months after krishna left this world nobody knew that krishna left <coughs> after settling the people of dwaraka in the harappan region arjuna returns to hastinapura the first person he meets at that time is uh, sage vyasa he tells vyasa oh krishna has left only then vyasa came to know that is 7 months after krishna left that means kali yuga calculation did not start from the time krishna left it was created after that and then post dated starting from krishna's exit such being the case how can you claim that they were talking in treta yuga of lakhs of years not at all possible so if you know the details only then coming to why they said it is treta yuga in fact in valmiki ramayana they will not say treta yuga at all only in uttara kanda it will come by narada before the shambhu kavana that too he would say in treta yuga dharma should be maintained this fellow this person doing the uh, the panas is against the dharma so you go that so dharma yuga was there the evidence for this is there in vayu purana and brahmanda purana and even in uh, in bahavatam what is this uh, dharma yuga you would have heard about uh, this uh, parikshit uh, in the, he was the first king of the kali yuga and then kali had entered but he would stop kali don't come to me please now he said no no i have to come okay i'll give you some five places stay there where there is gambling there there is a prostitution like that so that means it is about dharma yuga when uh, this was uh, parikshit was ruling there was no kali yuga he didn't want kali to come so that means there is a difference in kali that dharma and then kali in terms of measurable time this is measurable this is calculated by planets and another uh, one also tell you in vayu purana it is being told that is it this is what this is the one that i am going to say was told by uh, bhagavata purana it says it is like the, uh, the kali purusha that is yuga purusha is like a cow standing on four legs when it is standing on four legs that means four parts of dharma are there that means that is satya yuga or krita yuga when one of its legs are broken only it is standing on three legs means it is treta yuga rama lived in that kind of yuga that is three parts of dharma one part adharma then in two parts of adharma two parts of dharma means dwapara yuga krishna lived and then when three parts of adharma one part of dharma kali yuga that is where we are 
anyway so within the kali yuga all these can repeat there are only that were vayu purana and brahmanda purana are saying treta yuga started after the rainfall had come so it is giving a date for our country you can know the rainfall was not there during ice age for tens of thousands of years there was ice age and there was no rain at all you can check the climate map and the first rain there are uh, researchers also the first rain to india that is a southwest monsoon it came some 10 around 10000 bc only around 10000 bc only the first rain came because it says after until treta rainfall was there there was nothing to eat people were just to come, uh, 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 very conservative and uh, they did not uh, trouble anybody because life was very difficult they were just concentrating on uh, internally and all that that is a tapas what you call whereas once the treta yuga comes and what uh, when rain rainfall happens many crops are growing you are able to grow crops when you grow crops that is your wealth you have your wealth then you have to protect it so after treta yuga started only kshatriyas came into existence it's told in vayu purana and brahmanda purana because kshatriyas have to protect your uh, whatever is this thing so this is how they have uh, told about that so after at that time only first time river started coming there was no river before that is why in nireshwok state i am saying in 12209 bc there were no rivers no deccan rivers only after the southwest monsoon has come up the can rivers have started flowing until then it was just a barren land this is also told in uttar pradesh so based on dharma only they decided this and another one i'll tell you one difference for the treta of the kali yuga that we are counting you know planetary movements are the taken into or taken into account when all the planets except rahu join together in the beginning of mesha and then once again they come back they all start going and then once again they meet here it will take 4 lakhs and 32000 years so within that there won't be any the same combination what appear at all i gave a combination for 5 and 1 for bce that will not repeat at all in 4000 uh, another 4000 uh, uh, 32 uh, 4 lakhs and 32000 years this is for this at the same time vishnu purana and bhagavata purana also says krita yuga that is a uh, uh, sri siddhanta says and then aryabhatiyam says krita yuga will start in the beginning of mesha when all the planets except ragu join whereas vishnu purana says krita yuga will start when sun and the moon and uh, jupiter join pushya nakshatra in kataka rashi what do you say for that krita yuga starts there and here krita yuga starts why the dichotomy is there that means krita yuga in dharmic meshas only three planets are there in dharmic measures starting because in that context only vishnu purana says at that time kali dharma will go off people will become more dharmic as they become more dharmic the level of dharma will increase to the level of four parts then from kali yuga krita yuga will be born so at that time you can identify that time by sun moon and jupiter joining to pushya nakshatra in kataka rashi vishnu purana says this so this is a different type of yuga and that is a different type of yuga so in this type of dharma yuga only rama was born in rama's period three types of three three measures that another way i could tell several ways it is being mentioned in satya yuga only the sattvic nature will be there in uh, treta yuga rajasam will be there rajasam plus sattvika sattvika and that is why in raj because of rajasam rajasic tendencies the kings were very rajasic that is why parashurama killed all of them isn't it and then uh, other in uh, dwapara yuga tamasam and rajasam will be there in uh, that is why that is uh, that that is a reason uh, that is they ill treated the uh, 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 the daughter in law the daughter in law that is vastra dropadi vastra haran had happened because there was more of tamasam whereas in in our era totally tamasam and they are explaining it in another way also about uh, the food the food will be naturally available in satya yuga that is in krita yuga you don't have to create food that means whatever is available in nature the fruits or uh, roots they eat that is why they are tapasvis in treta yuga you can they, because rains have started falling automatically the crops are growing in um, uh, uh, ramayana automatic crop growing of that is rice dhanyas are all being made and then by uh, archaeo botanical studies we have found out around 7000 years ago in sarayu region uh, rice was grown and then uh, about rice lot of references are there in ramayana also they are naturally grown 
so the next rains are coming just the uh, throw the seeds automatically it grows without any effort food is grown but automatically grown in treta yuga in dwapara yuga you have to make efforts that is how balarama comes you have to plow you have to hit the ground to make uh, crops to grow in kali yuga whatever methods you make even artificially you are making food now the natural ways you are not able to make food our food is not so so this kind of differences also are given in our text in our puranas about the different variations so the treta yuga comes in this so this has come after the rain have come that means the current season is known as holocene after holocene started only treta yuga dravda dwapara yuga and kaluga and just with one thing i will just finish it the evidence for rama's time in the treta yuga or the treta sandhi in this thing you know that is in the dharma yuga there is sandhi and sandhyamsa that is one yuga krita yuga and then it is deteriorating when it deteriorates to by uh, just three fourth that is uh, just quarter of that uh, dharma will be there it is sandhi and then it will go into further quarter that is 1 by 16 that will be sandhyamsa that will be the yuga uh, the yuga dharma of treta yuga then treta sandhi seda sandhyamsa that will be the yuga dharma of dwapara yuga in this way only it goes whereas in the uh, kali yuga that is what that we are keeping for just calculation purpose or measurable civic purpose and in that there will be before that also 10% sandhi after that 10% sandhi there is no sandhi amsa 10% sandhi of uh, the treta treta 10% sandhi then 10% sandhi of uh, uh, dwapara the dwapara yuga 10% sandhi so two sandhi will be together treta sandhi and this sandhi before and after whereas in dharma yuga sandhi and sandhi apsa immediately another so this kind of differences are all there so without knowing these differences people cannot simply talk whatever they know no one talk without knowing and talk. the last evidence that i want to give you is in adi parva in mahabharata when uh, 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 saudi the rishi was telling the other rishis about uh, the mahabharata yuddha the kurukshetra he showed the place of samanta panchaka kurukshetra was known as samanta panchaka means uh, panchaka means five there are five ponds filled with uh, uh, blood of the kshatriyas by uh, parasurama in uh, the treta dwapara sandhi he says so parasurama and rama are in the same thing. in the same samanta panchaka he says this uh, this these five ponds were filled with uh, the blood of the kauravas and pandavas in dwapara kali sandhi today where is samanta panchaka can you find out samanta panchaka in the uh, kurukshetra there are no five ponds 5000 years have gone but the ponds are gone whereas between rama and uh, krishna the ponds were there suppose they were very much uh, sort of uh, separated by time a huge time could they have survived those samanta panchakas no another last example if you are looking at the king list all the uh, puranas are giving the king list in the ikshvaku king list after rama continuously it's uh, giving the king list the 30th one is brahadbala who took part in mahabharata war and was killed by abhimanyu it is told in the puranas so just 30 kings in between rama and krishna so how long it would have been the gap would have been you tell me so you have to see all that you ask me at that time about dvipa when I, when you are talking about dvipa i said in this what is given i am taking but if there are contradictory ones you cannot take here also i am giving you contradictory ones because you, uh, but the contradictory ones do not belong to the same thing what you are talking about hatha lakhs of years is coming in jyotisha siddhantas that is a different uh, category whereas here what we are talking is the king list given by the puranas themselves the puranas themselves are saying from the, the treta yuga started up to the rain for came the puranas themselves are saying and after the treta yuga sandhi sandhyamsa then the next yuga then which one you will take you have to and uh, take it to consideration everything and then derive when the king list is there and none of the kings in between are known persons do you know that you know so many other kings in the past nala or any other king ambarish none of them are coming in between rama and krishna you look at the list i have given the list in the twitter and in my book also it is going to come or you can check yourself in vayu purana brahmanda purana vishnu purana the list is given only 30 kings how can that be possible tell me unless the gap between ramayana and uh, uh, krishna avatar is just less just to 2000 years not more than that 
If people are not able to understand, that means they have not studied before, before commenting, study and comment. And then see the difference. For Kaliuga com combination, the, the combination starts from Mesha. For this Dharma Yuga, it starts from Cancer. Whereas Rama used Vedanga Jyotisha, which is the five-year yuga. His year started in Uttarayana. I am going to produce the calendar of Ramayana. In Mahabharata, I have produced the calendar of uh, um, uh, uh, Mahabharata period. Because in Mahabharata, also Bhishma tells this five-year yuga only. He justifies uh, the um, uh, Pandavas exile. They completed the exile extra. He, com he convinces Kauravas by using that five-year five calendar only. So, after Mahakuru, Ramavadara, five-year calendar existed. During Mahabharata, Ramayana, five-year calendar existed. Before him, Dirkatamash also used a five-year calendar, which you come to know from a very person. Then what is there to doubt about uh, what kind of calendar they used? It was some Vatsari, Pari Vatsari, Ida Vatsari, Ida Vatsari, only those things, not Tretai. These are post-dated. Absolutely. So this Theta Yuga and the calculation comes under different calculations on various yes. Uh, contexts. Yes. Very clear. The differences are given in the Yuga Puranas themselves. And particularly the yes. king list is there. You cannot overrule the king list. Do you know one thing? Only based on the king list of Vishnu Purana, we have uh, dated Maurya. You know that. We don't have archaeological or any evidence. Ashoka we may have. But after him, who were the more, totally nine kings were there? Do you know? Do you think from who, from which source we have taken? From Puranic list only we have taken, not from archaeological or any other historical, historical or inscriptional evidence. Puranic list, you depend on Puranic list for this. But for Ramayana and Krishna, between Rama and Krishna, you don't want to depend. Why this dichotomy? Absolutely, absolutely. It was a very. Uh... Very good answer in terms of explaining, uh, uh, citing actually different references and all that. Uh, it would be very beneficial for, for uh, people who. Actually yeah, I, do know, in Mahab I tell you for your truth. Through this, I am telling your readers in my Mahabharata book, the third chapter, it is some 50 to 60 pages completely about this yoga problem. Because this is not something new that is raised now. It was there right from Nileshwok when he when I critiqued him. I critiqued him at that time. This problem because Mahabharata date is dependent on the date of Krishna leaving the earth. So that is the uh, uh, pivotal point. From that you are taking the Mahabharata point. That is where that time itself I told them. So that time itself in my Mahabharata book you can see my Mahabharata book. In the third chapter. This is my Mahabharata book. In the third chapter I have explained it. So there itself I have explained. Now for Ramayana also I have to do the explanation, it seems. I will do it. In Ramayana I have extra ones like that because it's about Ramayana. Who came after Rama? All that I will say. That will show that uh, you, you, are, you see 30 kings are given. Assume that uh, each king uh, ruled for 50 years. That comes to 1,500 or so. Only. So assume that there are 40 kings or even 50 kings. Definitely not hundreds of kings. Some, some of the names they would have dropped. Main ones they would have mentioned. Definitely if 30 kings means it could have been 60 or less than 100. Even in that case, you are taking just 100 also. It's that the gap is not so high that we have to understand. So selectively, you should not believe uh, or you should not uh, take uh, the Purana. When you are taking the Purana, you have to take this also into consideration. And whichever is like how uh, Rajaji has told, so you cannot simply like that. Uh, and also in the... Uh, uh, Purusha Sukta, Sahasra Sirisha. Uh, Sahasra. Thousand heads means that two thousand uh, uh, eyes are not given, just thousand eyes are given. How is it possible? You cannot be asking like that. Only fools will ask, ask like that. So we have to use our discriminatory sense of perception or it's known as Uveka while dealing with text. It's known as Arthavada. We have to do this Arthavada to all these things, not just take it face value. Very true. And one of the main problems that we encounter for the Hindus here is the way to study our texts and the methodology of studying those texts are lost. Back in the day, I think these texts were properly taught and uh, how to interpret them was all there. I mean, the education system was there, and which have been lost over the period of time and uh, it causes a lot of confusion. No, I won't agree, sir. See, the problem is huh? made by people who are supposed to teach. Whereas I tell you that the, the way that things are going, let people take, well, 
everything is digitalized let them read by themselves and then know let them read they will know then when you are being because see some people it is it is now becoming like the uh, the abrahamic religions where the top a few people they want to have control over the intellectual thing of the entire uh, people that is happening now when they are not ready to do the vartavada and they are just even today i saw something blindly a person saying 11000 years of rama he it is said that rama rajyam upasitva rama upasitva means mean reverence to for 11000 years and then vishnu even in balakanda it said before vishnu takes birth it is takes the avatar he will take i will be in the manushya loka for 11000 years so that person that uh, who is supposed to be in a big level of guru who is teaching he says see vishnu has told 11000 years i will be in manushya loka so you have to accept it he was in the manushya loka for 11000 years so as rama do you mean to say there is no vishnu now there is no rama now it gives that meaning if you are taking that literal sense it gives this meaning is it but why why nobody because you should not ask we say you should not but our system i tell you 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 talked about our system it's not about tarka it's about questioning our upanishad is about the student to last you have to answer for that the teacher should be fully equipped today are the teachers equipped they just read out the commentaries they just by heart and then read out the commentaries do they think did they ask they say because my uh, teacher to and his teacher to you go out only in one sampradaya it is happening in the sampradaya of ramanuja it is ramanuja asked several times he changed the teachers 18 times if he had not questioned his sister advaita would not have come up if did his acharya say you you know you have to follow only advaita don't ask did he say if he had behaved like how the teachers are saying today his sister advaita would not have come up at all ramayana ramayana sampradaya would not have come up at all see sampradaya is something about the way of life that you have and the philosophy that you follow you would stick to the philosophy you teach the philosophy but these are all laukik avishayas the time period and other things they are not told in your scriptures they are told you have to look for those where they are available and then where they are available differently for example vishnu purana saying about uh, the come the krita yuga starting in uh, uh, cancer whereas jyotisha siddhantas see no purana will say it should start in mesha only surya siddhanta and other siddhantas and aryabhatti are talks about it are they your religious texts so you have to have the discriminate that's what i said discriminate reasons of perception when you want to talk about it you have to talk about it. i don't talk about the sister vedic philosophy because i am not an expert in that i know something of it which i will just keep to myself without a knowledge of that i will not talk about it. i talk about i came to talk about ramana because for years i have worked on it i search for it i compared and then and then i made sure that okay i got it a, a very strong evidence for it so without knowing please don't talk and also if you are saying that you have to and this uh, present day people i am saying present day they want you to be just zombies you are being told you just you don't have ask questions that so this is not what our system has told you have to at engage only in faith ramanuja also told in young age you just inculcate the faith in your dharma that faith will be totally when i say my small child my grandchild is there, a baby rama 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 when i say rama she just do like this when i when i say rama she go to my puja and then do like this that is with even now she she has not even started speaking but she is able to do that that is the thing here that uh, a faith you have to inculcate ramarja has said let them learn when they grow up let them just search let them question they will see the opponent views also when they have the faith they will uh, uh, they will uh, uh, take them on no no their point is wrong my point is correct they will also gather points in support of their faith that's what he did that is what he told that is what i am telling the people of this generation to follow all these are available for you go and search no learn yourself don't be a zoom that's what i am saying and uh, a very wrong uh, uh, i mean uh, interpretations or a wrong kind of uh, ideologies are being uh, uh, i mean spread by particular one particular sampradaya 
this is not there in the rest of the country. I'm happy about it. So let's not be that I'm not bothered about it, but people should be very careful not to be influenced. That's all. Absolutely, absolutely, madam. Very, very, very clear. And, you know, these days, I got the questions are asked to oppose, not to learn. <laughs> That's yeah. the problem that we are facing. See, what I am doing is that I have my total faith. Now I am going out. See, simple one example I tell you. Mahabharata, there is a different mention of uh, this blood rain, the rainfall, the blood falling as rainfall. In Ramayana also, before Karavada, it is coming. What is this blood, blood rainfall? Then I have to, when I am searching only, then in that context, there is a Vulka, that is Vulka means a meteor shower. And then uh, in the in the Mahabharata, Dhumaketu, that is uh, even a comet itself is falling. So then only I, in the current generation only we are, because we are scientifically being told, oh, these are also happening. Vidyaji told about the GISP2 uh, graph. That is also showing that, okay, when our Vulka is falling, a meteor is falling, this will be uh, embedded in your temperature graph. And then at that time, the nit nitrogen oxide will be created. Even any time, you know, a, a spacecraft is also re-entering. Because of the friction, nitrogen oxide will be created. It is reddish brown in color. When it mixes with water, that will be looking like, like blood. So we not only for any object that is entering, so even a meteor when it is falling, it is going to show that, uh, I mean, uh, water has a uh, blood red in color. So now I understand. I am able to understand, oh, this is what Mahabharata says, and this is what uh, Ramayana also says. But instead, no, no, blood rain only happened. Don't ask. Because you don't know the answer, so you say, don't ask. I seek the answer, so I am able to say. When I am able to say, why well, you should not say you are hurting the sentiments. That means you are gone. That's all. Absolutely, madam. Did you have any question? I have two more. You go ahead, Ravi. You go ahead. <laughs> you go okay. Uh, another, another you know, general. Uh, uh, I have seen this in in many forums and people talking about it. Uh, it is it is about uh, uh, Sri Rama uh, doing the uh, the what do you call um, in, in Rameshwaram having the Shivalinga over there and actually now doing pujas and everything. I have heard people saying that it is not part of the Vatmiki Ramayana, but actually it came in the Kamba Ramayana. Uh, no, it is there in the Valmiki Ramayana when Rama was returning. She, he will be showing the places like here only we crossed, all that he will be showing uh, to Sita. At that time, he shows Atrapurvam Mahadevam, uh, something Akaroti, that is uh, Pujam. Puj, that, that is the word will be in the olden days for Mahadeva, Puja was done here. That is the translation of that. He didn't say that I did or something. So, based on that, people say, he didn't. But in some Puranas, the same Puranas which they believe, I am not able to remember those Puranas, but I will be quoting them. I will find out and then quote them in my book. In some Puranas, it is being told that he, Rama did the puja there. My contention is only the particular Sampradayik people, you know, they say Rama would not have done. But Rama himself, you know, his, his mother Kausalya, when Rama started for Vanavasa, you know what she said? Oh, let all the deities come with you, protect you. All those are Vedic deities. But one deity, Subramanya, let Rod Subramanya, the Deva Senapati, protect you. What do you say for that? So this shows two things. Rama comes after Skanda. Rama comes after the period of Subramanya. And we know Subramanya alias Skanda alias Murga alias Skanda. From our Tamil sources, when we know the date from Nakira, that is only 12,000 years ago. So after that, only Ramayana could have happened. So and apart from Kavatam Pandyana, we have this evidence also. So Rama himself, what they will say, will they accept? Why should we? The problem is with, well, with them is this. You follow your scriptures, or your, your ideology. This is ideology. Shaivite or Advaitic or Sishtadik, all these are ideologies. But Ramayana and Mahabharata are common to everybody. It doesn't belong to your ideology. You cannot twist it to your ideology. That is a problem now happening. Isn't it? So, there it is definitely told Atra Purvam, but and also Rama is someone who will do, if he sees a Swami, a, a, a deity, he will definitely worship. He is somebody who will do that. Right? And this particular verse, according to me, what the explanation that I am giving already, I have given is this. This place of uh, Ramar Sethu, you know, 
it was initially it came into existence or for prominence during bagiradas time because the sagaras uh, sons they died in an artificial way that is in an uh, unnatural way that's converted into ashes that was in the region of rameshwaram and uh, to get uh, swar- to, to get them uh, elevated to swarga they released them to swarga and bagiradha and then even in sagaras time only they are the sagaras were digging the ocean at that time bay of bengal was very much inside because the land level that is the sea level was low land level was high i have even shown the sea level map next to our shore eastern shore for nearly 120 meters depth you know there are lines like you can see the channels even today people going into the water they say there is an underground channel river underground river that is underwater river coming in that way that means in that channel initially ganga came it stopped here it washed the ashes of uh, 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 the sagaras in rameshwaram so immediately bhagiratha wherever this uh, salvation is happening guru rudra will be worship he would have established a rudra linga there and would have worship when rama came by then the sea level had risen so by uh, stopping that uh, water nava nadi many nadis are coming all punya nadi when you are stopping it by constructing the rama rama setu that's what there are the washer versions are like that when you are taking bath definitely it gives you the punyam of taking bath in all the sacred rivers right from brahmaputra brahmaputra everything is being stopped so once rama had come there i i won't say that he established it atra purvam normally we when you say atra purvam in long ago long ago the meaning is long ago so it was already there so when rama came there definitely he would have worshiped in astrology also we say that you know when people have the curse of the mother that is matru shapa that is a moon is afflicted in one's horoscope and uh, this is told in by in uh, by parashara rishi in parash brah parashara hora shastra also those who have this matru shapa if they take bath in the state they will be relieved you know why rama himself had matru shapa even pitru shapa both his mother and father were not considered to him and then he lost his uh, i mean country he lost his wife he lost everything after taking bath here only he was able to get back his wife to defeat his enemy and then get back his i mean country this is what we astrologers will tell people for rama himself it happened so rama worship must have worship whether he made it by himself or it was present there from atra purvam made by bagiratha but because the story is there he would have worshiped and then gone there so even now for matru shapa we say worship at takes nana in agni tirtha that's known as agni tirtha it's a hot spot that is why they have become ashes also take the bath then do ganga jal that's we used to say not even mumit kavina pala bisheka ganga jal bisheka at noon and then go to sleto takes nana worship there so this is there astrologically we follow that so then how can we say no so before your question two answers are there in some puranas it is said that rama worship so if you believe puranas you have to accept it within ramayana rama mentions about the worship atra purvam so that atra purvam only is a uh, debatable part whether uh, at his point or in atra purvam long ago even if it is long ago rama would have definitely worship he is someone because he is someone who was blessed by his mother that subramanya lord subramanya the devasenapati will come with you so for rama there is no he was secular but when you go by ideology you are not secular you take me into account as a kind of researcher i am i go by what valmiki says so then you can call me a secular for me my uh, our deity is rama but i, I am not antagonist to any other deity see yeah, he worshiped it even there is no problem for me madam actually now all, 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 all are our all are our all are our avatars all are our deities all of them will give you this moksha 
and for me i i i believe rama will appear to me yeah, in fact four verses are there in uh, sundrakanda where rama sita will tell when hanuman says i will take you to uh, i myself can carry you she said no let rama come at that time sudha hi drishtascha maya parakrama four sentence four verses she say i have seen the parakrama of rama by my own eyes in janasthana he will do me he will uh, i mean protect me he will re- relieve me hey vanara go and bring rama and lakshmana to me the c4 verses are their part of my worship every day i used to tell the moment i see rama and see the lakshmana that is the last moment in the world that i am leaving that means so such kind of belief i have so i don't have to be going on saying why well, i uh, i uh, no this is right or wrong i go with my own belief what i have been now brought up and what valmiki says and i am true to valmiki not to anybody else not to any ideology let me be clear i was saying i was saying as you were explaining this you answer a question that i had in my mind previously you showed actually a map where you know where rama was coming from nasik and how they crossed the uh, palakkad gap most likely allegedly and came coming to rameshwaram and it is last year in december i went to a temple in kannur called uh, perivalasheri or peralasheri peralasheri is supposedly uh, the the vigraha was you know done by the pratishtha was done by sri ram and right next to it there is makreri also which was done by uh, hanuman lord hanuman so in perivalasheri it is kanda over there in that temple now you and i had thought why sri rama had actually you know done the pratishtha of kanda over there i had i had that thought in my mind Okay. now that you have told me why it is <laughs> oh, okay. the, 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 he is he he was in I mean, just uh, praised as the dev senapati that is uh, even now veeravel vetrivel you know all the tamil kings we know you know they that veeravel vetrivel and then skanda it because where is kanda's uh, aida uh, so he accompany you means you will win anything that is what is it is there in valmiki ramayana what i am saying is there in valmiki ramayana and also coming to this pratishtha or something no up to what you are seeing in valmiki ramayana that is what you are uh, up to that you know not uh, okay whatever we are uh, de- deciphering that beyond that that is after the patabisheha for many times rama would have visited other places he has come up to malayagiri that is uh, the kaveri kund of uh, shambhu kavada so there are other places there are very places in Ch- south tamil nadu itself uh, there is one uh, shambhun shai koyil in uh, one of the um uh, divya desas where it is said rama had uh, constructed shambhun shai means that is golden he made it golden as a kind of uh, uh, for brahmahati but i don't know whether it is true or not but there are legends and there is a possibility that he had gone all over our country bharat even beyond that because in pakistan also there is a place called uh, uh, rama's uh, seat there is a, in swat in swat valley and uh, in on top of the mill hill you know there is one seat made up of uh, uh, the stone itself and it is being told that bharata occupied because the pushkalavati peshawar those regions uh, were created by bharata only for his children and takshashi and all this so he would have constructed a rama would have gone over there that possibility is there that might not have been recorded by valmiki but that possibility does exist that he has come all over uh, uh, the bharata desha and then wherever he had gone Uh, he had uh, established temples or something and moreover you know to find out where rama had gone you have to uh, uh, follow the trail of uh, pandavas pandavas during their vanavasa they visited the places uh, uh, wherever rama went for example belagavi how i identified that place that is a very small cave where only four or five people can live it is just on the foothills of uh, uh uh eastern gods of the western gods eastern slope of the western gods pandavas went there and they established the linga there saying and the legend says oral tradition says since this was the place of sugriva they visited they visited the place occupied by sugriva during their his uh, hiding and then they established that this oral tradition is also there and if you go there it matches with the uh, Uh, all the description of valmiki ramayana so uh, even uh, uh, all those places in karnataka many places are there i make a mention of them in my book uh, uh, pandavas visited the places visited by rama that is also one cross reference for us 
Yes, uh, there are a lot of local legends. Vidyaji, you know, you have any questions? Unless I would ask the last question. I, I had, uh, I was coming to ask about the Perlasheri Temple, and you had already asked about that, ma'am. I'm sure you must be knowing about the legend behind the Perlasheri Temple, where uh, you know uh, Sri Raman gives the his bangle because in time they wanted to bring the Pratishta. They didn't get the deity, the the Vigraha. So, okay. so to keep up the Muhurat, the Muhurta. He gives his uh, bangle, and that's how the name of the temple comes as uh, Peruvala Sheri. Okay, okay. Yeah, I have not known. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah, but it, but it actually matches with your map. Yes. How they have come. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. No, even uh, after I, I visited, I'll ask, I'll ask. My, my contention is during that period, he has taken 25 days to come. So for Vanaras from India to uh, that is uh, Trikota Shikara. It had taken two months, I told, because it is told in Ashwagija they are uh, uh, talking about it. And by Margashira, they meet uh, uh, Sampati. By Maga, he has come over there. So from there, we are calculating the two months are there. Whereas for Rama, around 25 days. So when he came, he just came, maybe he would have noted the places. Then after Patabhishegam, he would have come and visited the places. And then set up this... Uh, or, uh, Consecrated the building, I mean the temples and other things. That could that is a way there is a high possibility of it. But while coming, you know, he was just focused on just coming. 25 days he has taken. So that is the advantage of doing the uh, uh, dating. We know many things so very exactly. But that too, we go by Titi and Nakshatra given by Valmiki, you know, that should match with the, what we are deriving. That comes up. Very true. I'll I'll ask the last question. That, that question, I wrote it here when you were talking about Agastya. Uh, and uh, I know that actually, you know, Agastya is the one of the, uh, the grammar, grammar, Tamil grammar was actually you know, from him. Usually we hear, these days also we hear that, you know, the Arya, Dravidas divide. I don't believe in both of them, uh, to make myself clear. Uh, but people will say Tamil is a much older language. Actually, it is not like, you know, Tamil, Sanskrit was imposed on us. A lot of, that is all political uh, jargon that is going. But Agastya himself was actually a well-versed man in Sanskrit and all, and the grammar for Tamil was prepared by him, from my understanding, from as far as I understand. Uh, Madam, if you can talk a little bit about it, it would be yeah, very yeah. useful for people who have... Actually, in my book, uh, I am talking about uh, the Agastya, because in the context of Agastya, in Tamil text, there are two Agastyas. In the first uh, Tamil Sangha period, there was an Agatyam, and that is Agastyam. That is the name of the uh, grammar book written by Agastya, Agatya. So who was he? This is second Sangam. This is Agastya only uh, an, an entity because he has contributed to Big Vedic uh, corpus also. And this entity and then a uh, lot of events are also coming uh, along with him. So who was the first Agastya? That I am writing in my uh, book also. So when you are uh, checking the information given in uh, Tribali Adal Purana, and then Madurai Kalambagam, and then uh, Nakira's Irena uh, Kalaviyal uh, Burai. So there's, there is the, the, it was known as Agathiyam, particularly in the first Sangam, they talked about Agam. There is Agam and Puram. You would have heard about those words. That is Aganaanuru, Puranaanuru, you would have heard. That is, they are all about, Agam means inner, inner life, that is love life. Then Puram means external life. In Puranaanuru, you find the description about the outer things only. But in Agananuru, it's about the lovers talking to each other, the lovers and the, I mean, uh, the separation and then, uh, and then union. All these things will come in Agananuru. So it is being told in many texts and also by Yena Nakira that in the first Sangam, only Agapurul, that is the concept of Agam was taken into account. It was only done. Even Irayanar Kare Kalaviyal Apringa, the Kalaviyal Apringa, love affair, to tell you the fact. Kalaviyal and Karpiyal, who are there? So, Yulayanar Kalaviyal means, Kalavu means thrift, that is uh, stealing or with, uh, without knowing, with, uh, not showing to others, like that. So, the love affair going within themselves so that others will not know. So, in that context, what are the problems they face? It is very beautiful uh, events will be there that will be described. And also, the it is also being grammatified. How you know? I see when the boy and the girl meet each other. This is the first time. Even Tirukkural says that. 
stage wise it is saying then what they will do they will try to attract her that boy will try to attract her, her attention or that boy even skanda did that he sent uh, uh, his elephant to attack her so she will be just running helter skelter immediately he will go and then protect her and then he will uh, overcome that elephant that elephant is a pillar his elephant became pillar in that is uh, ganesha in both that is how the ganesha concept started so these are all coming in agam so for that the grammatical grammatical means like this in steps so in the first sangam age agatiyam means the grammar of agam was done so who wrote it agatiya why we talk about tolkapiyam in current times tolkapiyam is the third sangam text that is grammar text who was the author of that tolkapiya does isn't it from the name of the book tolkapiyam we derive or we give a name to the author from tolkapiyam tolkapiyar tolkapiyam was composed by tolkapiyar therefore agatiyam was composed by agatiyar that is how it would have come because we are not able to see any one person like that moreover agastya is a sanskrit word it has the etymology how i said lanka has the etymology in tamil only not in sanskrit search anywhere in sanskrit dictionary you won't get it similarly for agastya the etymology is in the sanskrit agam syayati iti agastya agam agam means mountain who stops the mountain is agastya we have an agastya you asked about the mountain that that mountains that, that also shows agastya the star which stops there is agastya so canopus cannot be a south pole southern polar star it should have been a circumpolar because it always a circumpolar will always be there it will be circulating the pole but it will always be there in that degree so that is why with agamsta yati iti agastya so agastya came but that star came uh, got that name agastya because it stopped the mountain or it stopped at the mountain now you got the point for for that uh, for that thing also same thing so the first sangam age agastya could have been anybody because we in the same way how uh, the tolkapiya is somebody who was given the name tolkapiya so the second sangam if for this only we have this agastya who was true any other question in this what is the exact question in this maybe i got lost track uh, uh, the 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 reason that i asked was there is always a debate between tamil was older Uh, ah, was imposed yeah. on no at that time Tamil. i'll tell you in tamil in tamil itself in that context tirumoolar in tirumandiram and in tiruvaliyadal purana we have verses themselves like at that time skanda his mother was meenakshi meenakshi married sundareshwara from himalayan region and he came to be deified as shiva earlier we have rudra concept rudra is different from shiva rudra is who just uh, demolishes even in uh, uh, astrology we have devata adi devata pratyadi devata their uh, devata is agni adi uh, devata is shiva pratyadi devata is uh, rudra uh, that is the negative factors when the when the surya is uh, um, uh, afflicted we use uh, the parihara for uh, uh, rudra when surya is very well placed we say uh, the parihara for shiva there are differences so we cannot simply like that say so in trivadi adal purana also it is said sundareshwara only was there he was considered as a devam later later means when they had some natural calamity it was stopped so they saw they thought only he stopped at that time he has left the world so he was a devu that is what is mentioned in the trivadi adal purana itself so during the time of uh, uh, skanda and his father who, who was also known as dakshina murti in the southern direction sitting under the banyan tree tree he gave codified so many other things like uh, he made uh, these seven classes the uh, varnas and then so many other things among them the languages also he codified he made two languages both tamil and sanskrit together that's what is being given so from a proto language what people have been talking in my opinion that must have been pali because pali have if you know tamil you can understand pali if you know sanskrit you can understand pali because it is like a corrupt tamil or it is like corrupt sanskrit not only that 
in Rigveda, Pali verse are there. In Rigveda, Pali, I have quoted in my paper, Pali words are there and it has been accepted by scholars also. Both Western and Indic scholars, it has been accepted. So Pali must have preceded Sanskrit. That could have been up, up, uh, up, uh, the Proto-Tamil, the Proto-language. Because Pari means Pari, Pali means Pari, and there is reference to Pari in Old Tamil, uh, all that. So from that Proto-language, he created a well-made uh, Tamil. Tamil, the word itself, you see, Ta, Mil, Il, Palinam, Melinam, Idayinam, all the three together. Ne? Sanskrit also means that which has been made. So both have been made simultaneously. You can't say one is older and another is new. That is what is being told in our text. So this is the Devabhasha. Sanskrit was used for all the Daivik activities and Tamil for all local activities. So that, that is Manishya Bhasha. And in that context only, in Madhuri Kalambagam, in that the, it is also told, that this Shiva himself will listen to you. That is Thod, is a, that is Sangat Thod, Udan, Shangam, Nakashanku. So that is, uh, they, they are all um, sea bound only, you know, so many shanku that uh, will be available. So, she, he, his uh, earrings uh, were made of shanku only. So, shanka thodu kudutthu ketpaan. So, you, if you compose something in the Tamil that he made, there Shiva himself will sit and listen to you. Even till today in Madurai, you can see Madurai Meenakshi and temple, there is a shangam thing where Shiva only will be seated, he will be listening. So that is how they develop. The word will be like this. Tamilai Vadarpadar Kaha. What Tamilai Vadarpadar Kaha? The Tamil that was made grammatical. But earlier there was ungrammatical Tamil. That is also mentioned in Tulkapiyam. At that time it was known as Madhura Bhasha. Rama spoke in Madhura Bhasha. Everybody in Tamil India spoke in Madhura Bhasha because they left even before the, uh, I mean, uh, the division was made or for formalized. That is, it's all a movement of people from the center region. Once the climate become all right, at that time, initially 12,000 years ago, the India was not so much high habitable, except the coastal places of South India. Other places, not very few people, people there, here and there. But the people started just moving everywhere. Then they have taken it. The proof of it, I tell you, where now we have not done. But foreigners, when they came, they immediately collected all the, because that language, the similarity they found, they, uh, that is how they develop this uh, your Indo-European languages. But now even they themselves are not uh, accepting it. Your uh, thing is different. Maybe we are influenced by Sanskrit, but not so. So when they were checking, when they collected everything, you know, it is written in their records. They say they find that there is a common upper bramsha running in all the language groups, like Bengali group, and then here Marathi group, Kashmiri group, and then South Indian group. In everything of a Brahmsha. And that is known that, that exact uh, translation of that word is corrupted Tamil, corrupted language. And we have something called Kodun Tamil, which means corrupt Tamil. So our language, we say, even when we hear Kannada people, Kannada people talking Kannada, no? oh, yeah, our Tamil, but they have just twisted and then they are talking. That's what a Tamilian will tell, think. So the changes are there. So there is an underlying of a Brahmsha in all the languages. Unfortunately, after the uh, independence, we have not taken into its logical yet, but started dividing ourselves on the basis of local languages. If we just come out of that mindset and start doing a comparative analysis, we will know the underlying language. That would have been the proto-language of the modern times. That proto-language had more of Tamil components, even Sanskrit components. Because Tolkapir himself says, you know, in HVL, uh, Sanskrit is part of Tamil only. He doesn't call it as a loan word. For loan word, there is this actual, he says, there are loan words. And the fourth category is just Vadasol. Vadasol means Sanskrit is part of Tamil only. How could that happen unless they have evolved together? So the evidence is there. And also in Tolkapiyam, in Pirapir, he says how the words are being uh, pronounced. That is there in Tulkapiya, but he ends up with the matra and other things you refer to the Vedic uh, Sanskrit. So he is combining it. So we have taken up the matra and other ones from the people will say, no, your syntax is not same as that. Everything developed its own thing, its own uh, mor 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 morphology or uh, uh, the, the letters. 
But one thing I'll tell you, this Tamil Brahmi is not our Tamil. Brahmi was introduced by Jains. So wherever they went, the local language they wrote in their Brahmi script, that's all. It's a script, but not a Tamil script. All right. So I think you know, we have come close to about three hours now. <laughs> but it was a very, very interesting session. Going to, how you are going to publish it in how many parts? I <laughs> <laughs> Probably two, I guess. Okay. <laughs> but it was a you know, very uh, eye-opening in terms of a lot of clarifications were there. You know, we were able to actually understand a lot about Tamil and Agastya and, you know, we went into different directions in this uh, talk. Really enjoyable. And we personally didn't feel like it was three hours. But uh, it's always uh, a pleasure to have you, ma'am, and uh, your wisdom uh, sharing with us. And uh, we hope you know, we will be able to you know, do one more session on another subject. Uh, yes. 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 Thank you very much for giving me this opportunity. Vidya ji, thank you. Ji, thank, thank you. you. <laughs> Thanks to my viewers also. Hope this is being taken to many viewers because all these are very necessary. You know, people should know this material people share it with others in this. Thank you for this opportunity. Definitely do it, ma'am. Thank you so much. Really happy to have you on Satinir Jayate.